Well, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Supercars in Seconds here. I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the beautiful building that I work at, at every day. This is the Dimit Automotive Group in St. Petersburg location. So this is the main building for the ultra luxury cars. The left side of the building would be the Bentley showroom. The center would be Rolls Royce. And the right side is the main McLaren center. Let's take a walk inside. It is just a beautiful building. It's like working in a, a, a Tuscan art gallery. It's absolutely fabulous. As the cars are deserving of such a wonderful home. Beautiful wooden doors. I'm gonna go inside. Look at this, it's beautiful. It's, it's all full of original artwork everywhere. This is the Bentley showroom. So got some convertibles, coupe. Oh, the Mulsan back there, the new flying spur all blacked out. Very beautiful. I love the rugs all through the building. Travertine floors, of course. Have you ever seen so many Rolls Royce cars in one place? That's nine Rolls Royces together. Unbelievable. So you got the big color man here. That's black diamond. This is black diamond matte. That's actual factory paint. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And we got the convertibles, the coupes over here. One of my favorites is this one. It's called Salamanca Blue. Look at that. The Arctic white leather, just amazing. If you're going to Lowe's to get, or Home Depot to get some mulch, this is the perfect car for that. A couple of big phantoms. I'm gonna, where the tiles change, that goes then to the McLaren show. And these gray tiles are the same as the ones used at the factory over in England. They've got the carpet squares in the offices and so on. Over here, you see those gray tiles. And the cabinetry is all the same as the big factory in England. Oh, I see they've got the Formula One race on, ready to go there, perfect. Really lovely. What a place. So, we're gonna go next door. And the next building over would be the Cadillac Center. Then the building after that is Aston Martin. And really great facilities, great for the customers to come and see the cars. The lighting obviously is perfect. Outside we got a big Cullinan black badge. Look at this, for obvious reasons. There she is, how cool. But let's take a walk. Oh, actually, we can jump on this golf cart. This will work. <laughs> we're gonna steal it, perfect. Okay, we're gonna sneak over to the Cadillac building next door. So at Dimmit, we have two big Cadillac locations, one in Countryside, the Clearwater area, and this is the St. Petersburg store, just again, a beautiful building. Oh, and that's actually the new uh, CT5 Sport, a 10-speed transmission. Can you imagine a manual with 10-speed? That's all automatic, obviously, but a manual with 10 gears, you'd be changing every half a second. So that's fun. Then next door, oh, actually in here, generally we collect the cars for the customers, if they're coming in for service, we have the truck to run them back and forth. But if you did come, this is where you'd have your car. Cadillac service this side and ultra luxury service that side. There we are. Oh, and here's the Aston Martin building. Very cool looking. So with new cars and pre-owned cars in here, there's usually some fun stuff. So let's see what they have today. Any okay, more big wooden doors. I actually got a pre-owned DB11 right away. And this is new cars then. So we've got the new DB11. Oh, here's a beauty, wow. This is a DBS Superleggera, a Volante. Look at the stitching inside this car. You just can't imagine a car could have so many stitches on the seats. <laughs> Look at that. Big square wheel, of course. 715 horsepower convertible. Very beautiful. Oh, here's the one we drove the other day with the stick shift. Oh, here's a nice one back here. Oh, this is cool. So we've got a 2019, it's a GT3 RS from Porsche. This one's got about 600 miles. Beautiful PDK car there. And this is an interesting piece. This is a Celine S7, a super rare car. And gosh, it's about as high as my waist. <laughs> 750 horsepower, big V8 in this one. Look at this thing in here. Good Lord. Absolutely beautiful. Now, as you can imagine, you can't sort of take this into your local service center to get work done so at dimit we have some of the best technicians in the country of course to work on these beautiful cars so our customers that have these very rare exotics will bring them to us because then we can take care of the car service the car and keep her in tip-top shape so that big monster's always ready to go 
this big parking lot here this would normally be our cars and coffee or the fire trucks our cars and coffee location on the weekends um but of course with the covid that's all changed i'm hoping that a, a vaccine can come soon and solve that problem for us and we can get back to having some fun with the car shows i really miss it uh I'm going to do one more quick thing while we're at this facility. I'm going to take you to the McLaren service bays and give you a fun story from when the McLaren P1 was launched back in 2014. We managed to deliver nine of them here at Dimit, which was kind of fun. So they were coming through and the technicians had to be trained, of course, on how to work on the cars. Um, this is some of the nicest service bays. Look at these guys. Very beautiful. I'm going to sneak inside here. Everything's all laid out beautifully. So up on the wall there, there's a hook. And when the McLaren P1s come to be worked on in this bay, that great big hook was sent to us by McLaren as part of the P1 toolkit. And the technicians had to all gather around and listen to someone from the factory explaining what the hook and these various tools to work with the electrification of the car were for. That hook, being serious, was because P1 has a 600 volt electrical system, that's a massive amount of power. It could really hurt you. Um, so if a technician had, was having an issue with a P1 and hadn't managed to disconnect everything correctly, if they touched the wrong cable, they would stick, meaning they couldn't let go. There'd be so much power going through them, they couldn't let go. The hook was for the other technician to pull him off the car. <laughs> you should have seen the technician's faces. They were, what the? It, oh, it was so funny to look at their faces go white when they realized that that's uh, what they might be working on. Hope you enjoyed that. That's a tour of the Dimit facility where I work. It is really a first class place to work and a lot of fun. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Please share the videos around. If I can answer any questions, please ask in the comments below and I'll, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.